because you obviously need to give all coordinates for it. Uh, so you got that, and then we finally do this bit, rotate object, and then your character, you unmove the character, I mean this isn't essential, but you know, I did it at the start, so I might as well just go with it. Uh, and you're going to go rot uh, Y here, and then you're going to go zero for depth again, because it's pretty much always depth uh, in rotations. Uh, just have zero for it. So else if, right? so rot X is greater than 18, so in a few minutes guys we should see some results, so just bear with me and just keep going at this and we should see some results. Um, at least the camera moving and so on and we'll have no clip mode working as well so just keep doing this bit and should be alright Tate object probably be able to get rid of the uh, don't know I'm writing this again so DVB rotate object sorry I shouldn't have put three there sphere cam <coughs> yep and then smaller than 60 and then you mo move that and then what you want to do here is limit it to 18.0 this makes sure it doesn't go above the uh, minus 18 there the the difference between these two is just basically the way the sphere rotates and the box rotate they're different so that's why I need a negative value there but it's not really essential now once again for this bit uh, so just do similar to that I'm just copying this because you need uh, t this is to limit the upwards point the but the first one's for the downwards point, and this is for the upwards one. Point well, um, what x uh, is smaller than 360 degrees. So okay, so smaller than 360 and greater than 345. Yeah, seems fair. Now else if is greater than 200. I'm gonna do that as well. So and smaller than um, 345 and what you want to do here on the first one you do normal like the previous one and here you put a limited 345.0 okay and that's about right now we've done this bit now uh, this should should be fine don't know if I made any mistakes but we'll find out soon enough and it's else here now basically if no clip is on no clip is on then you move through this bit so this bit is going to be our flying mode okay yeah so just do that there well just go back one on this first one is obviously if it's in character mode so first things you do are similar so just do that I know I could have done this on top for both of them but well it doesn't really matter too much and you want to change this to 0 0.1 and then you want to just going to copy this bit as well. Um, so here, instead of object angle, you're going to DB camera angle. So you want to know what um, you know what direction the camera is facing, camera angle Y, so that you can move towards that direction. And now these are going to be exactly the same, okay? And now we're just going to add the limitations, which are a lot less than on the top one just two of them. So if rot x is smaller than 320, now this is to make sure the camera doesn't do flip upside down as well, so because that would look a bit weird. Greater than 100 then uh, rot x will equal 320 so you want, you want to limit the camera for that and then you have one more where you say if rot x is smaller than 100 and greater than 57 uh, then right x will equal 57 and then you want to rotate the camera to that so db rotate camera uh, rot x rot y just gonna check if my mic's on because yesterday i recorded about almost half an hour of this without the mic on i turned it off and then forgot to turn it back on genius of me uh, anyway, so now we're doing DB key state. I don't know if you came across these before, but basically key states are ways of detecting what key the user is pressing. So in this case, 17 here. There's some ways of finding out. You can do some uh, some ways of printing these out. So you'd go, for example, DB print key state, and then you find out what or DB scan code. 
you find out what key the user is pressing. So anyways, 17 equals W. So W is going to be our forward. So DB move camera, and we're going to move it six to the uh, forward. So then we've got the backwards one, which we're going to add here, and that will be 31. And we want to do minus here because it's the opposite we want to go. 31 is S, which is going to be going backwards. And then you have if DB key state 30, 30 is our left to strafe to the left. And then we want to DB move camera right. Is it right? No, left. You want to move that to the left, and in this one, for some reason, you need to tell what camera it is, otherwise it doesn't let you use it. So just put zero in there, uh, because that's the number of the camera. And then 32 there for the right, and then you DB move, move camera right. Okay, so that's it. Righty indeed. And now that's it for now. Um, okay, so this is pretty much it for here. So now I'm ju we're just going to do one more function to turn no clip on and off. So I'm just going to do a quick F5 to see if I've done any errors here. Yep, obviously. Uh, where's the first one? Right, why? Yep, don't know what I was doing there. Done a lot of them. Oh, it's because I copied and pasted. Anyways, so do that, that there, that there. I got some more errors for some reason. Which I'm not sure what they're about. Oh crap, I think I've done one too many here. Yeah, so that should be alright, I hope. Yeah, that's fine now. So we don't run this yet. So now we're going to do a function called... Um, we're going to call the function input keys. Now, this function is going to see what um, keys are being pressed and so on and do something about it. An example, this will be the no clip. We're going to turn it on uh, using by using the uh, input keys function. So, void input keys you can call this whatever you want but you know I thought input keys wasn't a bad name for it so first thing I want to do here don't don't have to do it here I could have put it in the main loop but I don't want to fill that up with you know normal functions so first thing that about first person shooters is you want to position the mouse right in the center at least in dark GDK from what I found out in every one I've started doing um, basically they pretty much all have the the mouse position right at the center of the screen and hidden because you you know maybe you want to put your own logo for the mouse or maybe you want to use a crosshair there but you don't want um, screen height you don't want a, a mouse visible in a first person shooter because it just looks weird <coughs> okay so you divide that by two on both <coughs> and you're hiding the mouse you're sticking it constantly in the uh, center of the screen without letting it move and now we're going to use scan code which is similar to key state that we just used but basically scan code um, I don't know if key state lets you do this I don't think it does uh, scan code basically can find out if you're not pressing any key at all so if scan code equals zero it means no, no keys being pressed so that's why I prefer to use that in certain situations F1 equals equals false now pressing F1 is a function that we're going to use to turn off um, no clip and turn it back on so otherwise if we don't use that we press F1 and it will turn itself on and off loads and loads of times and you don't want that so you want to press turn on let go it's still on whatever and then you're pressing and you want to turn it off so <coughs> so if F1 is being pressed and pressing F1 equals uh, false then pressing uh, F1 equals true okay so you want to say it's been true don't press it again don't change it again uh, so if no clip clip equals equals true then no clip will equal false so if it was on turn it off um, and if it was off turn it on else uh, no clip equals true okay alright so that's that um, that bit's done now we're going to do one to say if if f1's not being pressed then say pressing f1 equals false if db scan code i actually just copy this top bit here uh, so if db scan code equals equals 59 uh, now we want to say is not equal so if it's not equal to f1 right then what we want to do we want to say pressing f1 equals false so you don't always have to use the brackets guys if it's just one argument I think you can have more than one but if it's just one argument there's no point doing it on multiple lines okay pressing yeah pressing f1 equals false and that's it for now um, so we're just going to try that out to make sure and check if our function is working or not. Oh, just an error here. 
uh, DB position. Oh yeah, I forgot to put a parenthesis here. <laughs> okay, so let's just see if we do this. So here you go. As you can see, we can move the camera fine. We're limited to obviously height and stuff, but that's normal. Um, so as you can see here, I can't move. I can press anything yet. But if I press F1 for no clip, right? Something I did something wrong. Uh, I think I put the wrong uh, angle facing, but that's okay. I'm just gonna see what it is. Um, yeah, guys, I just found out what I did wrong. I'm such an idiot. Basically, I left a three from Sphere Cam in here, so um, shouldn't have put three in the first place. Should have put Sphere Cam here. Um, but basically, three works as well because three equals Sphere Cam. But basically, like an idiot, I put it to camera number three. There isn't a camera number three, so. If you just leave it blank, it goes to the default camera, which is zero. So let's just try it again. So here we go, got our movement, fine. And then just go. So here we are, no clip, we can fly around. This is somewhere we'll use for the. Um, so it looks a little bit slow because I'm recording as well, but when you're doing the. yourself or, you know, you'll see that you should get at least 60 frames easy, no problem. Um, so yeah, so there's no clip not working. This is something you can use later on to debug your program. <coughs> not debug, but to check out, you know, if things are behaving the way you want it to, so you can come out and so on. Anyways, let's continue now. Let's add the. So we're back. See, I can only move the camera now. I haven't got the WASD working, but this is character mode at the moment. So let's leave this and let's do the control camera function. Okay, so let's go here. Um, so control character, not control camera. Um, Anyway, so control character function. This is going to be used to. This is a fairly long function, guys. So, just after we do this one, this is the only slightly boring one we have to do. After we do this one, then it's mostly good stuff from then onwards. Uh, so, void control character because this one you need to put the collision and stuff, and there's some stuff that is fairly complicated. Um, anyways, so I'm going to put a little function in so I don't forget about this. So I can put player jump afterwards in it. So I'm going to comment it for now. Um, so if no clip equals equals false. So if it's not no clipping, then let it move how you wants to move. And then we're going to go float. It's a fair bit of typing, I guess. So just bear with me. Old X. Just want to do that. I'll try and be as quick as possible, really. So, but um, just a lot to do really. So float I'm gonna declare these three. These are to check your old position, your old um coordinates on the map so that if you hit something later on you can uh, just move back to those. Okay, so if you collide with something you'll be moved back to these. So I'm gonna get the character's position, okay. Um, put a Y there and put a Z there. Okay, so you want to know that. So this bit here, we're gonna go if VY equals zero. Remember VY, we declare that at the start because it's the VY is used for knowing where the player is at all times, at least on the um, Y axis. Equals equals zero. Um, uh, VY equals VY plus five. Now this defines how fast the player falls down. So if, in terms of gravity, so if he's not got a floor below him, this is how fast he's going to fall down. Okay. So if you do decide, I think it's a good speed at which they fall down. It seems a bit realistic. Um, VY plus gravity. 